Thanks for sticking with us. Welcome back, uh, Dr. Stevens. Dr. Nicole Stevens is our next guest, a mother, a wife, a doctor and scientist. She is the clinical director at doTERRA. Welcome to the show, Dr. Stevens. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, thank you for being here. If, if you wouldn't mind, can you first explain to our audience what it is that you do? What, what does a director of clinical research do at doTERRA? Sure. Uh, it's the best job in the world. I get to actually direct all of our clinical research trials, which basically means how do oils and the supplements that doTERRA offers behave in humans or on humans or around humans. So that's the kind of trials that we get to run every day and it's really, really fun. Yep, and, and I understand that with every product that you have, there is a team of scientists behind every product to make sure that, uh, I, I guess, the efficacy, make sure it's dosage. Can, can you explain a little bit about that? Absolutely. We have dozens of scientists on staff and it's everything from making sure we've got the right plants that go into our oils to making sure that they have the highest quality that we need, testing them in the humans and it, everything in between. So we, we really have an amazing team of scientists and we're breaking boundaries that have really never been studied before in all of essential oil science. So it's exciting to yeah. do that too. I mean, speaking of breaking down the science, I just learned from the doTERRA segment uh, I did last month that you can actually put some of the essential oils right into your cooking. So I, I learned that from you guys. It's true, and they're <laughs> very tasty. Yeah, with school being back in right now that the kids are back in, we kind of have a regular schedule, science projects. I'm always um, being asked by parents, do you know of any cool science projects? I'm hoping you can help us in that realm with, with doTERRA since it's all science based. Oh, I would love to. We've actually got some really fun science projects. I'm gonna demonstrate one for you today. Okay. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. If not, be sure and try it at home because it's really fun. So. This project is based on the idea of density. So have you ever cooked with oil and water before? What happens when you try and mix oil and water? Separate. They, yeah, they don't mix. They, they're different. What do you think happens with essential oil and water? Any guesses? Does it do the same? Okay, so I'm going to show you first grapefruit. I don't know if you can see this. This is grapefruit essential oil. It smells amazing. It smells just like grapefruit. Okay. I'm going to drop that onto the water and I want you to tell me what's happening. It looks like it's just staying on top, just hovering. Yeah. Very, very much like cooking oil that you might use. Okay, so do you think all essential oils will behave that way? That's your hypothesis, right? <laughs> I have a feeling I should answer the other way because <laughs> you're, you're leading uh, me there. I'm leading you a little bit. Yes. Okay, this is wintergreen. Watch what happens when I put wintergreen into water. Wow, is it, is it heavier? It is actually more dense than water, so it will go to the bottom. Now, what, as a scientist, what does that say to you? Will I be able to, is that going to absorb better in my body? Or how do you explain that to so, someone like myself? You know, really, it's all a matter of chemistry. And that's where it gets interesting. Hopefully for kids, if they're interested in this sort of thing. You then take a look at the oils, how they're behaving, check out their chemistry and say, okay, how is this different? And it really all comes down to what these essential oils are made up of, how their different constituents are interacting with those water molecules or not. Well, I, I think it's important to mention that this, uh, in this uh, part of our discussion, uh, careers in the STEM, this, this could probably be a, a factor where if you're at home with your kids and you see that they're doing well at this, maybe a career in STEM. Oh, it would be amazing. And there's a lot of great resources out there for kids. And what I can tell you is, this kind of hands-on stuff is really the way to get kids hooked. They see something, they're curious about it, they want to know more. Moms or dads at home, do as many of these kinds of experiments as you can. They're simple, they're fun, they can lead to great science fair projects, and they can really get a kid interested in STEM. Yeah. Dr. Stevens, thank you so much. You, you always bring good, fun, and amazing experiments for us. If you wouldn't mind, tell everybody at home how to get all the information through your website. I would love to. doTERRA.com. They've got references and resources for kids, for anyone who's interested in essential oils, and really a lot of different kinds of chemistry and botany. Another great site is sourcetou.com great resources about the plants, how we harvest them, how we make the oils. So those two sites are my two very favorite. Thank you. We'll put a link on the website. So our, our website will be easy there. Just go to fox13now.com and don't forget to click on the place.